Hey sports fans, Chris Terrell here with RotorPros.com bringing another DFS video. Today it's going to be kind of a look at everything that's going on in the DFS landscape, some of the tools that we offer, some of the sheets that we, we use for our research and offer our members. Before that, I want to give you a little bit of a look into where you can find some of this content. So first of all, rotopros.com. This is where you're going to find our free articles. As you can see, Ryan's article is out for NHL tonight. Uh, Dane's article up for the golf, which has started. Uh, we also have content in our Slack chat as well. This is where our premium content comes in. To get access to that Slack chat, you can click on the yellow sign up button at the top. We have weekly, monthly, and yearly subscriptions with free trials on each of those. And if you use promo code RP50, you're going to get 50% off once that trial is up on your first payment, no matter which package you choose. We also have free content over on our YouTube channel here. Uh, so it be youtube.com slash rotopros. You can go up to the search bar and just search rotopros. You're going to find us there. So we got a video kind of going over a little bit of uh, the Slack chat that I just talked about. And then if you scroll down, you find our cheat sheet overviews. These are big for our customers, uh, for our members. Um, coming in and being able to go through the sheets, how I use them, how what stats we look at, what those stats mean, which stats we use for cash versus GPP, uh, just a general tutorial of, uh, as you can see, we've got NHL, NBA, NFL, um, we've got KBO there, that is from last season, I'm going to have a baseball one up for this season, um, we've got a lot more videos coming, and then if you want to search individual videos, just scroll down, you, they're, they're by category, NHL, PGA, NBA, NASCAR coming up soon, NFL. So that's over on our YouTube channel. Um, so with that, let's jump into tonight. So we've got a lot of action going on. We've got NHL, NBA, EPL, uh, college basketball. So we got golf round two, obviously, for showdown coming up. So once the tournament starts, uh, the content does not stop for you. Um, so first of all, on NHL tonight, we've got eight games. We've got three that are postponed had some COVID issues in the NHL lately. Pretty much the whole New Jersey Devils team seems to have had it. So the Pittsburgh-New Jersey game is postponed. Buffalo-New York Islanders is postponed, as well as, as the uh, Minnesota Wild and Colorado Avalanche is postponed tonight as well. So first of all, I just kind of want to... I'm going to remind you as I jump into this video here, if you're only interested in college basketball, you're only interested in NBA, if you're only interested in, in soccer, uh, looking at the, on the video here, I'm going to have timestamps below um, in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So if you just want to jump to a certain part of the video, definitely uh, go and check that out. You don't have to listen to me ramble about every single sport that's going on today. So with that, uh, jump back into NHL here. I'm going to go over my top three teams here real quick. And then we'll move on to the next sport. Um, so first of all, we've got Montreal. That one seems pretty easy. The game's a six and a half total. Same with the Toronto-Vancouver game. So Montreal and Toronto at home, both of them uh, projected over four goals tonight are going to be on my radar 100%. Um, both facing uh, the Vancouver's ranked 29th in defense, Ottawa 31st. Those two stand out for sure. And then Florida right below that at home as well, facing Nashville. They're only... a uh, minus 115 favor, but Nashville has been pretty terrible lately. I believe they've given up nine goals in their last two games, ranked 25th on defense overall, and haven't been great on the road whatsoever. So those are the three teams I'm looking at. Um, some players from those teams I'm looking at at different positions here early in the day. Right at the top of the center position, I am paying up for Barkov, especially on FanDuel here at 7100 It's a real nice value. And Austin Matthews, the most expensive on both slates. But as you can see, they both got elite shot volume. They backed that up with shot attempt volume. And then they both are up there in the elite scoring chances category, facing bad defenses as heavy home favorites. Hard not to like either of those. If you want to go with value, if you're only going with one of those elite defenses, guys, or you're going to go with maybe three centers with your utility spot. Uh, Nick Suzuki, I like here a lot, uh, under 6K on both sides. He doesn't give you the shot volume, but Montreal's just been red hot, and they're just in a great spot. Um, that line two for Montreal has been absolute fire, so it's really hard to ignore that tonight. Moving over to wingers. Uh, if you're going with Matthews, <clears throat> I say this all the time, you're going with Mitchell Marner. He doesn't give you that uh, same shot volume <clears throat> as Matthews. But uh, pretty much every point Matthews gets, uh, Marner is right there getting that point as well. If you want to go a little bit more balanced, Montreal is, again, going to be the way to go. Tyler Toffoli, I, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. It's so unsustainable, but you just kind of got to ride the wave. He should be 
like probably the most expensive winger almost <laughs> um, <clears throat> based on his performance, but he's still only 6,400 on Fandle. That's his best value, but mid 6K range, both sides. He's getting shot volume lately. Montreal's a huge favorite. That line too, like I said, red hot fire. Toffoli is my top cash play there. Gallagher on the first line you can go with as well. Um, sorry, Toffoli power play too, my bad. Uh, Gallagher, uh, top line, second power play. He has elite shot volume, 23 shot attempts per game, 16 shots per 60, four and a half combined shots blocks per game. Um, those are just elite numbers in a great matchup tonight. Patrick Hornquist for Florida um, for cash, especially on FanDuel again. Nice value there. He gives you the shot volume, uh, almost 14 shots per 60 and almost 18 shot attempts per 60. So that is pretty elite and they're in a great spot. Josh Anderson, one of my top points per dollar values overall. Again, FanDuel just keep uh, underpricing these uh, Montreal Canadiens and a lot of these teams that are having great starts to the year, they're just underpriced on FanDuel. Their algorithm is not picking it up. Josh Anderson uh, skating on that second line with Suzuki and second power play unit uh, gets you get exposure to Toffoli. You pretty much get exposure to the top six of Montreal is going to be key tonight. And the value is there to easily get them in. Okay, moving on to defense. Uh, those teams really don't aren't giving me great options for defense. Petrie would be number one at the top. Again, Fandle, 5,500. That's just that's a steal for Petrie and what he's done early in the year. He doesn't really back it up with, with top shot volume like other guys or blocks but he's pretty much out there uh, on all the points on um, power play, power play one. Um, he's out there almost 22 minutes. He provides a lot. He shouldn't be 5,500 on Fandle. He should be up in the, at least 6,500, uh, six, six K plus for sure. Um, so that's elite value there on DraftKings lately. I've been going with a double call it punt, but double value approach for defense. Um, and a couple that stand out for cash down here. I put them in purple Ben Sherratt. The reason I put Ben Sherratt, Mackenzie Weger in purple as cash game plays is just because they don't give you a lot of power play exposure, like if any at all. Um, but they do give you shot blocking. They're very low priced. They can give you a nice floor to help you get in those elite stacks. Um, like you're going to want to get Matthews, Marner, uh, Barkoff, uh, Hornquist, uh, you know, stacks like that. With a top goalie, you're going to need uh, some of these guys. I might not go this route, uh, probably find some more upside in GPP, like look for guys that are getting power play exposure for GPP, but for cash games, Sherratt and Uyghur definitely stand out for me. So that covers NHL. Um, we're going to dive into NBA here real quick. We have a, we'll go to the team matchups tab. We've got uh, four teams on back-to-back -back tonight on a five-game slate. Not the greatest of slates, just simply because, um, first of all, we don't have a lot of value plays opened up yet during the day. Uh, I'll talk about a few here shortly, but we do have a lot of very expensive players. So the decision today is kind of deciding who you're going to pay up for. Um, and that's really going to factor into, again, the final decision is not going to come until closer to lock when we start getting that news that's coming out. So if you're playing NBA, make sure to stay close to the slack because I've got uh, me and Kenny have got updates going on in there throughout the day with news and how it affects uh, usage and started projected starting lineups and, and things like that. So out of these five games, we've got Dallas on a back-to-back, -back, Atlanta on a back-to-back, -back, Philly and Houston are also on back-to-backs. Um, the good thing about this slate is all the games right now are single digits uh, in terms of the spread for odds. Um, we've got three games, 225 and higher totals, so that's good. We've got uh, three teams, 115 points plus projected points, so that's good there. A couple players that stand out right away. I really like Luca going up against uh, Golden State here. It's a close spread, highest total of the night. Um, just below league average in terms of matchup for Luca, but the pace is a pace up game for him. So I'm really liking uh, Luca probably as my top payup, even though it is a, a back to back for them. Um, not really worried about Luca on a back to back getting the minutes especially in a great matchup in, in a projected close game. You know, if it was possibly like a blowout, like a spread we're seeing like a minus 12 or something like that, I would probably not want to try and jam him into cash games, um, you know, in fear of a, of a blowout in the fourth quarter and him only getting like 28 to 30 minutes. But uh, he's coming off 38 minutes last time. I'm seeing like 32 to 35 again in a close game tonight. And he takes about 18 to 20 shots a game. Um, and he's kind of shooting right around that 50%, 40 to 50%, coming off a. He's pretty much given us a 45 point floor, and he's got upside. He's put up games of 80 plus on DK. Um, so, I mean, the scoring is going to be close between DK, but he, he gives us a really solid floor. 
Um, gives us those raw points at the top. So he's definitely one that I like paying up for tonight. Joel Embiid here as well. Um, he's going to be a top play. They're a nine-point favorite, so there maybe is a tiny bit of risk here uh, blowing Portland out. But if they're going to make it a blowout, I think Embiid is going to be uh, heavily used. His usage is over 30%. It's one of the top top five in the league, I believe, right now. I have to check on that, but it's at least top ten. One of the highest-rated offensive players in the league. Um, he gets a great matchup as Portland is 20th against centers. And as you can see, they are one of the worst defenses in the league as well. Negative 5.6 points per 100 possessions below league average. So that's one of the worst defenses in the league. Even though both those players are on back-to-back, -back, I'm definitely on, on board with both of them. Moving down the list, I do like J.A. Morant's um, or John Morant uh, matchup here as Houston is 28th versus guards. They, it's a pace-up game for him. Houston's defense is a little better. Um, but I'm not too concerned there. I like the high pace, uh, fairly high total, close spread game here, so I think he can get some usage in that game. Eric Gordon on the other side of things, uh, I think he's going to get up in the 30-plus minutes here again, makes a nice solid play all around. And Memphis, as you can see, isn't great against guards, but uh, it, it's a bit of a uptick in matchup here in terms of pace, so I'm definitely looking at him at his price. It's more of a price thing on this slate. I uh, really like Tillman. Uh, looks like he's going to be starting for Memphis again, probably getting about uh, 25 to 28 minutes, somewhere in there. So I'm on board with that. Uh, value opening up in Golden State, it looks like Juan Toscano Anderson is going to start again. Uh, he started last night. I think they were on a back-to-back. -back. Two nights ago, sorry. Uh, two nights ago, he started, played 27 minutes in a close game versus Boston. He only got nine shots. He was six for nine, so that's probably not completely sustainable. Three three for three uh, from three-point land. Um, so that made up a lot of his scoring, but he's only 3,500 on DraftKings. Uh, so I kind of like him a lot more over there. As you can see, the points per dollar projection is a heck of a lot higher. So he's going to be a DK value for me, probably a punt if he starts. So we're going to want to pay attention to that lineup when it comes out. I'm uh, going to want to pay attention to Atlanta's lineup as well because we could get some value opening up with Cam Reddish starting um, if he gets back in there, even though it is against Utah, who's a pretty good defense here and a down pace matchup. Uh, Reddish could get his uh, minutes boost here with, I believe it's Hunter, is out. So we could see him get up in that 30. And if he gets up in that 30-plus minutes, I think we can de definitely see value uh, hitting value from him under 5K. So also on the sheet here, I've um, got NBA tiers. Make sure to check that. I'm going to have the rankings updated a little bit later today. Uh, so if you're playing tiers on DraftKings, make sure to check out that tab. Got the new defenses to target tab. Pretty much looking at uh, every defense listed here. Uh, we're looking at pace. So a high pace team is obviously what we're looking to target. High pace and bad defenses. So if we go and we just sort that here. Defensive efficiency. So look at Washington. Um, they're they're a fast-paced team and a terrible defense. That's a great combination to target against. And then we've got uh, fantasy points versus position here as well. If you want to check that out. So uh, generally, if you don't understand the numbers, hit me up in chat. I can explain it a little bit better. But generally, green is going to be what we like to target. Red is what we're not. So as you can see, the really good defenses down here have a lot of red throughout them uh, versus the bad defenses up here have a lot of green. So that's just kind of the general rule when you're starting to use the sheet. So moving on from, oh, one more thing here. If you are playing prize picks, I did add a tab. I haven't updated it yet today, but I dropped that in there. kind of gives you some research information there. So moving on, we've also got an EPL slate today. We've got Showdown. Dane has been absolutely crushing it with EPL. Um, so if you're not a member, make sure to go get that free trial and get in and play some EPL. Dane has been crushing it with his sheets here. So we've got uh, Chelsea and Tottenham today. Um, two and a half total here. It's pretty close. Chelsea's a slight favorite in terms of goal pro implied goal projections so on the sheet here what you're going to see is 60 minutes before lock and that lock is 3 p.m eastern today so at about 2 p.m eastern the starting lineups come out you're going to see um them here highlighted yellow if the player was projected and is now starting if there's a player that's in the lineup that wasn't projected to start he's going to be in orange over here and then dane comes in he highlights his favorite plays for each team uh green same same color codes as i use green blue and yellow and then, of course, he provides a skeleton in chat uh, as well. So make sure to get in on that.
Moving on to college basketball, um, we've got a couple things for you here tonight. First of all, for DFS side of things, we've got a five-game slate. Uh, Going to want to target some players in the OSU-Iowa game. Uh, 158 total there. That is crazy. Then the next two games are 140 plus. So we're going to get some exposure to them as well. But pretty much Iowa uh, and Ohio State here is going to be a game that we're going to want to target the most. So Dane also covers. Uh, he'll have his top players highlighted here throughout the day. But we've got some research that you can look at here when deciding on players once you you know kind of narrow down the teams that you're looking at. So we've got pace. Again, it's plus minus uh, league average. And then we've got a player's minutes per game is something I look at closely. want to make sure they play a lot of minutes. I'm going to also compare that to recent game logs on DraftKings and FanDuel as well. We've got Vegas information here we're looking at. So again, we're looking at high total teams that are projected to score a lot of points and closest of spreads possible. It's a little bit wider of a gap than NBA, um, you know, for players sitting and stuff and, you know, double digits like minus 11. I'm not completely worried about like I would be an NBA for a for a blowout and then moving over some other things we're looking at usage so for cash games you really get a really good start if you target games with high totals you look for players that play a lot of minutes have a lot of usage meaning they're taking a lot of shots and then we have a base projection just kind of going off their per 40 minute stats um, and then broken down um, so again, they're beta. They're they're pretty basic projections, like like we have on most of our sheets. Um, but it's something that can really help point out certain players over others. So then we just break that down into points per dollar, looking at their salary. So if you start looking at value plays, like here's one that stands out right here is Jacob Young. Um, that game's got a close spread, second highest total on the board. He's a nice mid range play, especially on DraftKings here. Uh, he plays over 30 minutes per game, has a 27% usage rate, and a 4.83 points per dollar. So, that, I mean, that's a player that's going to stand out. So anyone over, like, 4X um, that stands out here, um, they're not all going to be great, mind you, just because you're going to have to look at the minutes. 28 is fine. We start coming down here and look at these guys, 28, 29. So there's some nice values on this slate tonight, you know, going off the base projections here, going off the minutes that they play, and uh, usage rate. So that can get you ahead of the game right there. But make sure to check back throughout the day, and you're going to see Dane's um, favorite plays highlighted here as well, again, with skeletons in chat about an hour before lock. So then he's got a brand new sheet started yesterday. It is for betting. Um, so it looks similar to the DFS sheet, except there's just this one tab here. It is looking at uh, all the games on the betting card tonight, FanDuel and DraftKings Sportsbook, tons of games. Um, you've got the DK spread, DK total, FanDuel spread, FanDuel total, implied points for that team. We've got the records of each team, and we've got uh, a ton of stats here looking at uh, offensive rating, opponents' points allowed per game, uh, their pace, and that is plus-minus league average so green just means that they're uh, 9.8 more possessions per game um on you know above average versus versus the other team and, and it's just going off just putting them on all the same level type thing then we've got three points uh field goal percentage three point percentage effective field goal percentage uh rebounds assists steals and blocks per game so a lot of research stuff here and then throughout the day dane is going to highlight his favorite plays this is the spread so if he if there's a team highlighted here under the team under column b those are going to be his teams that he leans for spread um and then the total he's going to highlight those there as well and then he's going to have some of his top matchups at the bottom here top plays listed here with some notes and why he's targeting them here awesome new sheet make sure to check this out we got march madness coming up just starting to roll with college basketball so make sure to get in on that so that's a lot going on today um we're around in chat ryan kenny me dane harris we're all in chat um hit one of us up if you've got any questions about anything we mentioned here and uh, make sure to get over to rotopros.com get your free trial if you're not a member and use RP50 promo code, and you'll get 50% off upon signing up. Thanks for checking out the video. Make sure to smash that like button below, hit subscribe. Many more videos to come, so when you hit subscribe, hit the bell there as well, and you'll get a notification uh, on your YouTube app or email or whoever you set it up and let you know whenever the new videos are coming out. Thanks for watching. Let's have a great night.